Hey guys, if you're looking to change out the band on your watch and you want to go from maybe a black leather to a brown leather or change out the stainless band and you're not sure how to do that, I wanted to make a quick video just to show you how easy it is to change the bands out on a watch. So to do this, you're just going to need a simple tool. And if you don't have this tool, you can use like a small needle um, or a small flathead screwdriver. This specific tool, let's see if I can get this thing to focus, has, let's zoom in here. You see it, it has two prongs on it. And those prongs are going to be used to get into a pin. I'll show you this pin real quick. So the pin like that is what holds the band to your lugs on your watch. And it's spring loaded. So these ends compress here. And the way the tool interacts with it, the tool will actually lock in to one of these edges and you can compress down like that. So that's essentially what we're gonna be doing to remove the band. So I'll show you on two different types of watches. Here I've got a Tissot. Uh, this has got a leather band. And then I've got a Seiko Prospect here that has uh, a stainless linked band. So we'll start with the Tissot. I recommend opening up your bracelet just to give yourself the most room to work because we're gonna be working inside here down in the pocket of the watch. So this watch doesn't have the holes on the outside of the case like the Seiko does. Uh, that actually makes it a little easier, but since it doesn't have it, we're gonna be using this end of the tool. And same thing with a flathead screwdriver, you just have to be a little more careful to try to get on that edge of the pin. So you can see right down in here on the edge of your band, there's usually going to be a little access hole where you can get to this spring. So we'll take our tool and we'll insert it in this access hole and we'll just push down. You got to get on the lip. And when you push down, you compress that little spring and then you can pull backwards. And it will usually pop up out of that groove. Sometimes it takes a few tries here. We almost had it. Let's try again here. There we go. You can see now I've got the band loose. I'm so close to popping it out. Try one more time here. You want to apply some sideways pressure. There we go. So now we've got the pin out. We're going to move to, we're going to keep pressure on this side to hold it. And we're going to move to the other side and do the same thing. There we go. So you can see where the two bands are or the two pins are. They just stick out of either side and they're going to engage in a little hole right there on the inside of the lugs of the watch. So it's that simple to change out a band. Um, and we'll go ahead and put it back on to show you how to install it. So now we'll put the band back on. And this one's gonna be a little bit more difficult because it's a molded band. So there's not much forgiveness right here at the top. You can see how it's curved to meet the case and also curved downwards. So a little more, you have to be a little more precise with it. And so we'll start just like that right there. So we set it right into the pocket and we want the pin to just be kind of sitting. There you go, like that, right on top. You can see the pin is not engaged, it's just sitting out on top there. So what I like to do is I'll hold my hand to kind of guide it. And I take the same double-sided uh, part of the watch tool and I'll go ahead and depress that little pin and while I'm depressing I push my finger to slide it in once it's in there you can kind of push and you'll hear it click once it's found its spot if 
if it doesn't click like mine didn't it's probably just a little bit misaligned and so we'll go ahead push that in a little bit and we'll start setting the second side there we go so now we've got both sides in but not knocked yet there we go Did you hear it click there we go both sides clicked in and the pins in so that's how you change a leather watch band and now we'll move on to the stainless steel so the stainless steel band is going to be very similar we'll go ahead and open the clasp here just to get this out of the way and you can see the same reliefs for the pins but on this one we've got these nice holes right here and so this is where the other side of the tool is going to come in handy or a pin if you have one like a little push pin or a needle careful with the needle though because they're really pointy you want to want something like maybe a finish nail really small nail and so what we're going to do is we're going to push this into this hole and you can see it basically relieves the pin when we do that so if we take our finger back here and push this way while we're pushing the pin in you can pop that link and it's just barely out you can kind of see it's misaligned there so here I'll line it back up so you can see it so now it's lined back up I'll push the pin in now it's misaligned so I'm holding pressure on that to keep that there and while I'm holding pressure I'm gonna flip the watch over and do the same thing to the other side and now we've got both sides I can just pop it out and then your pin will come out see that simple as that now on these the installation is very similar to the other one so we're going to set it back in its place here you need to be careful because these pins like to slide out so we'll set it back in its place with the pins on the back side you can see they're not they're not in the hole yet we'll go ahead and use our tool I like to use sometimes I'll just use the pin and just compress the pin from the end like that right there while I'm pushing down on the bracelet same thing for the other side compress the pin so this one's a little more difficult because again it doesn't give you much room to work here Try that again. Compress it. To the other side. There we go. And now we've got it in, and all we got to do is push, and it locks in place. Now we're good to go. So that's it. Simple pin change uh, to change the bracelet on and this is most watches there are a few exceptions out there watches that have different styles i would say probably 90 percent of watches utilize these push pins in their lugs and a simple tool like this right here will take care of it most of the time or the other side of the tool which is a pin and you can get these tools on amazon they'll come in like a little watch kit and uh, i'll actually show you a third style of watch that's even easier to change so we've got this victorinox here and this one has a fabric strap but this one is the easiest it actually uses push pins so you can just get your finger on this little tab right here pull down on it and it just opens up so basically you're just gonna you're gonna compress this spring right here with this little tab and it will pull it out really really simple to do I love it when a watch band has this 
makes my job easier to change. So there you go, that's how quick and simple it is to pull off a band. And then replacement is the exact same thing. What I like to do with these is I'll put this bottom part that's sticking out here, I'll go ahead and set that in the pocket, just like that. And once it's in the pocket, I'll put the pin on the back side right here, and then just use my tool or my finger to get focused there, to compress that pin, and it pops in. And then you gotta kinda wiggle it around until it locks into place, and then you're good. I'll put this other side on real quick. Same thing, we're gonna put the opposite pin in the hole. Set the pin on the back side. Use the tool to push down the little knob. And it falls right into place. So, there it goes. There you go, simple as that.